James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Ladies and gentlemen, today's January 21st, 2022, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we're over at Euphoria, which is the European Space Agency's, uh, well, plasma spiral and solar wind spiral. And we time-wise are where the blue line is we're coming out of a plasma storm that broke 10 uh, yesterday we could only see it on certain equipment not all of the equipment we're over here at the european space agency because they seem to do a much better job of prediction than our own NOAA or nasa now you would think with all the sea flares and m flares that have shot off towards our planet, which I will show you right now over the last seven days, that we would be facing some, well, plasma or solar storms, and we are. But they're not being reported by NOAA, ladies and gentlemen. So let's take a look, and y'all let me know what you think. You can see that we're actually facing several solar storms, some exceeding 40 centimeters cubed, in just the next couple of days. Now that's going to be the glancing blow from the M5.5, which they're now calling an M1.5, by the way. You can see my uh, information as far as uh, the other M flare that actually happened on, I believe, the 14th, uh, and where I believe we are in the realm of things. But you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten ten sea flares left to deal with and two very strong m flares and i would have to argue really one more sea flare here so ladies and gentlemen this is what we should be dealing with plasma wise and i know mo most of my viewers realize that plasma is generated by sunspot groups that create solar flares and thus push out coronal mass ejections, whereas solar winds are created by coronal holes in our sun. Now, y'all remember all the Earth-facing uh, coronal mass ejections, the C flares and M flares, and y'all remember the European Space Agency's actual prediction for the next few days, uh, about five hits with plasma. Well, let's go to the WSA Inlil Prediction Center over at NOAA, Space Weather Prediction Center. What is today? Today's the 21st. That means they haven't messed with the model in several, several days. And they have us maybe reaching 10 centimeters cubed on the 24th, which they're guesstimating is that M flares glancing blow. Now, again, they're not accounting for any of the other flares pushing plasma towards the Earth in the form of a coronal mass ejection whatsoever. And they're also guessing that solar winds are going to fall off from, well, actually, where are they now? They're up about 500 kilometers a second. And if you go to the 21st and you take a look here, they've got them at around 350 kilometers per second. So they're only 150 kilometers per second off. And again, no update in days. What are these people doing? Why are they being paid? Your guess is only as good as mine. And no worries, the group that's in charge of the KP Index forecast breakdown from January 21st, 2nd, and 3rd also say smooth sailing ahead, folks. Nothing to worry about. I'll let you know when that goes uh, astray. God bless you and yours. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.